hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel on your screen is your usual girl blessing black coco blame if you are new here kindly smash the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i post a new video and thank you so much to my subscribers you guys are awesome also if you watched up to this point and you're not subscribed to my channel you're doing it wrong you know so guys today i decided to you know film this video for you guys because the way things are going on in my life right now did you guys might just see my you know best vlog and you guys don't want that so i decided to film uh what's in my hospital bag uh video for you guys so yeah that's why i'm here i hope you guys enjoy this video so let's get started I'm going to start from my baby's bag my baby's bag is fully packed, I think. I might add a little a few things, but it's almost packed. Here it is. Then my bag is not packed at all. I just you know keep putting stuff inside. I've, I've not like really arranged them well. So this is my baby's bag. Mm. This is the bag my baby. The bag I packed my baby things in. So we are going to start with this bag and yeah. So when you open this bag, this is what you see, guys, in this bag. Yep. And these are diapers. Because, you know, why not? These are the first things they wear when they get out of the womb. So I brought this many. If I need more, hobby can always rush down to get more for me. I don't have to pack a lot. There's it. Here I have some socks. Guys, look at how cute this socks is. Can you even see? Can you even see? Oh my goodness. I love me some baby things, man. Tell me about it. I have some meetings, you know, because we are going into the cold, you know, raining season. So it might be cold. I have face towel, more face towel. I have these beautiful hats, guys. Look at that. Again, I want to put this out there, guys. I don't know the sex of the baby that I'm having, it's the, if it's a boy or a girl. So, because I've gone to the scan, the sonographer said I'm having a boy. I went for another scan and the sonographer said it's a girl. So, I don't know. So, you might see a B, maybe a blue clothing here or a pink clothing here. Just have it in mind that I don't know what I'm having, okay? But I'm having a baby. Which one it is? It is cool. So, these are the hats I have for the baby. And here is the party fire. For some weird reasons, guys, my kids don't like pacifiers. And I don't know why I love babies that use pacifier because they are so, so cute. But my babies don't like pacifier. This is actually the one I got for my second son. And he didn't make use of it because he doesn't like it. So, I'm going to, you know, try it on this new baby if the baby is going to like it. But if not, it's okay, okay? No problem. So, here I have bib i have bandana bibs i have this one this one and that one you can never go wrong with this thing guys you can never ever ever so moving forward i have okay i have the towel like i said it's blue i don't know so yeah moving forward okay i have lots of clothes here not that much but it's a lot okay i'll show you guys this first this is the baby's uh should i say supplies or words here is here we have the cream the powder which i know i'm not going to be using soon the um body wash uh perfume this is vaseline this is soap this is comb this is baby sponge you know just a baby set kind of a thing so that's that and here i have this beautiful um should i say shower Okay, blanket. I have this beautiful blanket, guys. Look at how cute it is. Like, it's so freaking cute. Very soft and cozy. And it smells so good, too, guys. I love it a lot. Okay, here I have two pieces of clothing. Again, I don't know why I got this in blue. Okay, okay, okay. The woman had just blue colors. And I really like the you know quality of the clothes. So, I have to get it in that blue regardless of whatever. So, here I have the... Um, I don't know what to call this it's not is it a onesie but it's a hooded you know um kind of a onesie and it's you know camouflage so yeah super cute yeah yes 
so here i have another one this is a, a um what's it called um um overall yes overall one thing about this overall that i love so much guys is is the zip you know you can easily zip down and zip up and you are good to go you don't have to start counting one to three with overall so yeah yeah i have extra clothes in case the baby wants to go casual i got you baby extra clothes for casualities you know extra clothes okay <laughs> oh my goodness i didn't even know i packed this thing here i have this is like a leggings yeah and a top should i say sweater that i packed for the baby so yeah this is cute so i have to pack it for the baby more of these these ones these are like the newborn ones it's so little it's so tiny i have also this one is a floral print one it's so super beautiful and that's just what's in this bag oh guys okay the same thing all right the same thing and that's it guys that's it this wrapper that i put in for the baby guys this wrapper has been with me for four years i cut this wrapper when i was pregnant with my first baby and this pap this wrapper has been with me ever since then and look how neat this wrapper is. It's still so clean. Like, I'm trying. And that's it, guys, for this diaper bag. Okay, here I have some, you know, a little brush, you know, to wash the feeding bottle. Which brings me to this. This is the feeding bottle I have for the baby. I brought this one so I can add water. Although I plan to, you know, excuse uh, exclusively breastfeed but i don't know i really want to try ebf so much because for the fact that i didn't get to try it for any of my two children you know because of my school and other stuff i really want to try it for this one but my husband is saying that he needs me alive and i don't know so he might go ahead to purchase formula for the baby i don't know so either ways i'm still going to breastfeed my baby breast milk is breast milk so yeah i packed this for the baby i have another one actually the longer one the larger one or the bigger one but i don't want to take that one with me i just want to take these ones with me so yep they are not yet sterilized yet i'm going to you know sterilize them before i finally pack them before they are ready to use and this is the baby oil that i got for the hospital the hospital re uh, requested for this i have baby oil here in this bag but i don't want to share this one with anybody okay so i brought this baby oil okay here i have my baby wipes honestly that is all for this baby's bag oh. <laughs> guys i didn't pack a lot i didn't i didn't pack too much i don't know why i didn't pack a lot but i think i i packed what's necessary guys so for the baby so yeah if i you know feel like adding more then i can always go ahead to squeeze that in maybe last minute or whatever so that's that for my baby's bag for my baby's hospital bag so moving forward to my hospital bag please guys kindly ignore my lights like the light is fluctuating i don't know maybe because the light is low so please kindly ignore all okay so moving on in my bag here i have the you know cutting will you guys know what this is for now in nigeria hospitals they use this alongside with original what is it called again spirits within the baby's novel or umbilical cord umbilical cord no the baby's novel you know so this is what they use and here i have my um breast pump i'm just going to show you guys what this breast pump looks like I've not made you I've not used this one before but just seeing it I know that it's going to be so good so this is what the head looks like guys it's a manual breast pump and it has it, it comes along with you know extra bottle and you can pump with so that's that pium, 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 pium. I'm taking this alongside with me to the hospital guys so that if in case my breast milk doesn't normally take time to rush so if in case i could express and then i would express so that my mommy can breastfeed the baby okay so yeah i have a very nice bra 
very nice and beautiful that I just got recently. It's just a stress feed bra, guys. You need something like this, you know, for easy breastfeeding. Okay. So moving on, moving on, moving on. I have three parts packed in here. You guys know these things now. Yeah. So I have the three of them. Okay. So here I have, okay, here I have like uh, baby powder because sometimes the nurses wants, uh, they do request for baby powder when you put to bed. Like this hospital, they are so nice. They do request for baby powder to rub on themselves or people might just, you know, randomly request for powder so i brought this alongside with me because i don't want to share that other one with anybody so this one it is so this is cotton bud i bought this cotton bud <laughs> but because that the plastic the plastic um container they used to store the cotton bud like it's not strong so i have to you know diy it and i put it in this thing and get i got this thing and then wrap it so that it looks like so that it looks like you know I bought it from the market but honestly guys i did it so here i have purit i bought purit just because they said the toe is too harsh for babies i don't know which one is true again guys and you get the toe they will complain of the toe you get purit somebody will still complain of you i don't know i don't know what i don't know you guys, you guys should let me know share You guys should let me know, Sha, which one is better? Is it purit or the two? Let me go and get the two now that I still have time. I don't want something that will, you know, disturb my baby's skin. Innocent baby. I don't want it. So here is just my clothes. Oh. Just my clothes. That's just it in this bag. Here is just my PJs. I have to show you guys. There's my pajamas. Just like that. In case the weather is cold. Also, I brought this. Um, should I what should I call this thing? Should I call it half cut or what? But this thing helps with breastfeeding, guys. It's just so easy. It doesn't have no hook or nothing. It's just so easy. There, I brought more like it's just like you know, sports bra, you know. It's so easy, it helps to hold the it helps to hold the breast firm and you know put it in one place and one good thing about this thing is that it has foam inside like you don't have to go get a breast pad or something like that so when it's dead you can easily you know change it and get another one which may which is why I, I have a lot guys i have a lot this i just bought this two newly for this baby for my other babies i have the ones that i've been using for them that's still there so this is it guys is it not cute like it's a very huge support bra for me and for breastfeeding as well and for you know pumping as well you know when you're in hospital and you feel like you want to pump here is my scar because you know your girl is on low cut <laughs> don't want to embarrass myself in the hospital here has more clothes here is wrapper for me also this wrapper i got the same year i got the other one i showed you guys and it's looking so new guys you know tell me about it <laughs> So here I have, you know, this, you know what this is. I hate these things with passion, guys. You just use and throw away for me. <laughs> you just use and throw away. I have my coming back home outfit, you know. And, yeah, that, excuse me, that's it, guys, for this bag. Down here I have my, you know, toothbrushes. I decided to buy two. I think I'm going to drop one here. Then I'll take one to the hospital, which I'm going to trash afterwards. So that's why I got two. And that's it, guys. I told you guys that I'm not full. I'm not done packing. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of being through with it, but I'm not totally through with packing. So I have a lot of things that I still have to put in this bag. A lot of things like my, like my, you know, soap, my cream, deodorant, you know, perfumes my roll-ons um slippers you know all those stuffs okay all those little little things that i still want to put in this bag i'm still going to put get them together and pack them i just want to make this video now i think that i miss something like things like toilet roll or buckets all those things water it's so easy i can get toilet roll or water downstairs and the hospital where i stay hubby can go down and get it for me can easily grab buckets from here i also have my flask which i did show you guys it's up there <laughs> my hand cannot reach there guys i don't want to fall 
so i'll show you guys in the hospital those flowers are so cute and beautiful it's like the small one so i i see no need packing it inside this bag because hubby is going to you know bring hot water with it for me when i give birth so there's no need packing it and taking it empty to the hospital you understand so that's it but here i have my bobby pillow this is the bobby pillow i've been using for my first baby so this is it this is the bobby pillow that i'm using and of course i'm taking it to the hospital and on the back here i have a baby bed net it's a baby it's like a baby bed but there's no foam well that's net just should in case there's mosquito i don't want mosquito to embrace my baby so i'm taking you know preventive measures yeah so i have some body, uh, baby net for my baby so yeah that's it guys for this video if you ask me i think i'm about you know 90, 95% ready, you know, to go to the hospital to have this baby. I am so ready. Like, guys, I don't know. I don't, I'm just acting like somebody that I've not given birth before. I feel so happy, you know, to meet this baby. I just love babies. I think my hobby is giving birth. <laughs> I think my hobby is giving birth, getting pregnant and giving birth. I just love babies so much i just love pregnancy although this one has dealt with me in my in the early stages but i still appreciate that i'm able you know to be a mommy to this beautiful baby and i can't wait i look forward to it every single day if i can fast forward the hands of time i'm going to do it so i can meet this baby sooner but nevertheless you follow to abuna abu equa so i'm going to wait and be patient with myself, with God, and with the baby. Very soon, guys, you guys will be seeing my birth and delivery vlog. Yeah? Yeah. So, yes, guys. That's it all for this video. If you enjoy it, please kindly give us a thumbs up, like, comment on our video, and please, please, uh, let me beg you, subscribe to my channel, okay? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys